On Everest, Jim Davidson and his friend Bart are resting in their tent. All of a sudden, we heard a rumbling. Instead of fading away, it started getting louder and started getting sharper. When I heard that noise, I knew that we were in some sort of special bad situation. I looked at Bart and I said, this is really bad. I feel this tremble underneath. And the tent shifts on the ice. I hear like a big crack underneath the ice, as if the ice is splitting underneath our tent. The reaction was like, let's get out, right out, right now. I shot out of the tent. I was in my, in my long johns and in a t-shirt. That moment I see it. At Camp One, Jim Davidson is fearful the earthquake has triggered avalanches from the surrounding peaks. All we could see was white clouds about 50 feet away from us, and that made it worse. It was like stepping out onto a highway in a fog bank and hearing trucks roaring at you from several directions, but you don't know which way to run. In Kianjin Gumpa, Kat Heldman and her team feel the earth shaking and rush outside their tea house. We were just standing outside, kind of looking at each other, kind of shell-shocked, and at some point, I realized that Brigida was not with us. She was at the top of the stairs. She was she was scared to come down because the stairs were crumbling. Come out! Come out! Come out! Oh, honey. Oh, okay, come on. Okay. I didn't even think. I just ran in. Hit down the top. My adrenaline was racing. Everyone's adrenaline was like intense. I'm sure. And then somebody looked up at the mountain. And I think it was Kevin, and he said, look, 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 and, and somebody yelled, avalanche. Look, 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 look. 